All right, so brothers and sisters, we've gone through the door of your return. So through the store, all the captives were taken down to the shore. The water there is very shallow. The ships cannot come closer. The ship dropped some kilometers away. They placed them on boats. Gradually, they joined the biggest ship from here. So that is why we are saying that when you go through this door, you will not return. But look up again. You'll find another inscription. It says, Door of Return. Very symbolic, brothers and sisters. 1998, we celebrated Emancipation Day, or Freedom Day. And during Emancipation in 1998, brothers and sisters at the diaspora, those in America, Jamaica, Barbados, all over the diaspora, so many returned. And for the first time, they returned two human skeletons of former enslaved Africans who died in America and Jamaica. Their remains was exhumed to ship back to Cape Coast Castle. We had a ceremony for them inside the castle, and afterwards the two remains were buried 60 kilometers away from here at a town we call Asan Mansu. So Asan Mansu happened to be one of the biggest slave market in Ghana during the Atlantic slave trade. And it also serves as a link between the interior and the coast. So every year, every August, we celebrate Emancipation Day. And not only Emancipation Day, we also celebrate Year of Return. We had it in 2019. We had Beyond Return. We have Pan-African Historical Festival. So to us home as Africans, we are doing our very best to bridge the gap between Africans who and Africans at the diaspora. Because for 500 years, we've been separated. And it's not like we don't love you. It's not like we neglected you. Unfortunately, while slavery was going on, while systematic racism is going on, segregation, we had similar issue here. We had apartheid. We had segregation. We had European imperialism. We had colonization, where we were made to forget about ourselves, where they didn't teach us what was going on here. So it is time now we are integrating. We are bridging the gap. So we love you. Our first president, Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, once said, the independence of Ghana is it's not necessary unless it is linked to the total liberation of every African everywhere so that all Africans can speak with one voice. All Africans will unite their minds together, unite their resources together so that we get that self-respect back. Yes. But unfortunately, Nkrumah's rule as president was short-lived because I think the oppressors knew his intention. Mm -hmm. And if he was capable of uniting all Africa together, that would have been a bad thing yes. for them. So unfortunately, we have to take him from mm -hmm. But the struggle mm -hmm. doesn't end with him. Yeah. We're still doing it. We're still going on. And I know sooner or later, all Africans are going to be one. We're going to speak in one. Day. So I also say this. I don't see you as tourists. I see you as the ancestors who are back home on the pilgrimage to the motherland to reclaim what was stolen from us. Yes. I welcome you once again, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else you want to